Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to another episode of this Terry Turner career mode. In today's episode, we are playing Nelson. We're starting off with a uh, three-day match, it looks like. I don't know how we're going. I haven't played in quite some time, but old Terry is in some terrible form. With the bat, I think with the ball he's going pretty well. Anyway, let's try and get more than 10 runs with the Willow. Right, here we are. We are having a bat first in this three-day match. We have 157 runs at an average of 4.49. So we're having a bloody good time here as we've got Cooler World 4 for... Six for two, six two. And we're going to just uh, leave that one. And the game today is block and run. If we can do that the whole time, then uh, we should be good. I mean, I can't even get the bat to it. Jeez, we'll take the league by. At least we've got two pace bowlers uh, from each end here. This is good. Oh, we've absolutely smashed that. No way, Tears. Pick up a cheeky two there, maybe three. Actually, we're going to go three. Tears off the mark. The big man three off four now. With Cooler still charging in, bowling some uh, right arm mids. Uh, we're going to scamper through there. Another pace bowler. We'd love to see it. Surely no more spin. I mean, got two overs to go to the new ball. Oh, has that come off the glove? Please no. Fuck! You fucking numpty fuck. He's gone forward to a short ball and it's clocked him right in the glove. Oh, fuck me. Four off seven, you absolute shit. Let's take a replay here. I was feeling good against the, the pace bowlers until we fucking gloved it. Jeez, that has got to hurt. It's hit the inside. Tears, mate, you got to go back to those ones. You can't go forward. And it's just popped up and fuck me, we're out. Anyway, here we go. 44 poles at 17. Jeez, get us in a first class team. We are bowling up a storm. And uh, let's change this field. Here we go. First ball bowling to a review. Let's take some more poles, lad. Oh, that's a great start. Oh, what a shot. Far right, oh. It's going to go for four? Surely it does. Actually, pat it back, pat it back. That's four. Oh, fuck right off, Ravu. What the hell are you doing? Yep. Goes just over. Mid off, and he's going to go for another boundary. 1 for 109 now, some trouble. 199. Still a lot of runs to get, but they're only the one down. And these two blokes have put on a pretty decent partnership. Oh, half volley. Ah, Madsen launches, picks up boundary. This is poor bowling from Tez. Now some 1 for 127, just flying along here. And we're up to Fox. Pretty standard. Swept away, no run once again. Squarely getting an absolute workout. Madsen 40, review 65. We need a little break. Well, bold, good, uh, good respect shown here, as he should. Yep. Oh, how the fuck has that squirted off the edge like that at that pace? That doesn't make any sense. Now we'll get two out of it, though. Yep. Oh, that's bullshit fuckery. Review, mate, you're taking the absolute piss here. We're back, 5247 here. Carly 7 over here at 7 as well. Little chip, no run there. Trying about 61, they should get a small slender lead here. Hopefully we can get a one, at least one wicket. No run there. It's out. Finally picked up a wicket, that's Carly. Now some six down, still trailed by 55. Get around him, that bullshit uh, bat pad hasn't been fixed. Not that I, I don't think it's really a bug, it's just a bullshit way to get out. Now Mark's a new man, I wouldn't be surprised if we get him uh, first ball here. Damn. Well, there you go. And to our 11th over, 1 for 22. Pretty tidy figures here. They're still trial by 33. We need three more wookies. Ugh, it's a yuck shot. Okay, we're back to have a bowl, but a lot has happened. A lot, lot. So, uh, Nelson all out for 284 there. We only bowled those 12 overs, 1 for 22. And then we batted again, and it made 385 for 5 declared with Augustine, 212 not out. We're next in. Uh, we went required. And now Nelson, 8 for 67 in deep poop. Habib, taken 4. What is the time? It is 4.38, day 3, last day. So it's sort of about an hour and a half left. And we need 2 wickets. What an absolute hiding it could well be. Oh, is that out? First ball, we've got the wicket. Bring us on, lads. We get the job done. One more for a famous Blenheim win. Let's wrap it up, lads. One for none. Wicket Madden to start off. You love to see it from Tez. And another dot ball there, seven in a row. Miria, none of six balls now. Mark 30 of 31. They've got to hold out for another, like, 15 overs maybe? 15 to 20? And we just need one more good bit of cricket here, which surely Tez will deliver on. 
Let's finish with two for none. That'll be lovely. Oh, bit of respect. Let's keep it on its toes. 24 hours to go. Oh, we should be able to smash this in then. 24 hours to get a wicket, the final wicket, you would think so. And Blaine and Matt, comprehensive winners here. 324 run victory to win the Battle of the Hill. You'd love to see it. And uh, man of the match, Augustine, of course, for his double, double ton. How good. We batted, 4 of 7, no good. We had a bowl, went all right. 1 for 22 of 12. 7 maidens, Jesus. Didn't get a chance with the bat in the second dig. And then with a the ball, 1 for 3 of 3. Nice, tidy match, apart from the batting. Four bowling ability points. Interesting. Now we've got three available skill points to use. What are we putting them on? I've got to get the bounce up. Get that. And then uh, let's put uh, the flight, that one, that one, and then that one. How good. I want to see selection status. Do we have any chance? Still no chance. This is what, our third season? Jeez, we had some absolute strife here. We need to score more runs. And now... We are playing a 50 over game against Wanganui. There we are, welcome to the BRP for this 50 over fixture against the Wanganui Chickens. Okay, what are we gonna do? Get a few runs, you know? I mean, that's the only thing holding us back to uh, first class selection is scoring runs. If only we made ourselves a bowler, I didn't realize how shit we would be with the batting. Anyway, Wanganui have called. I uh, don't really care what happens because we'll be doing absolutely nothing. We're on very early here, 4.47 average. High score 22, can we beat it today? We've got Haro charging in. Six for one eleven. We're in a bit of strife. Can the lad get it done? Come on, Tiz. Yep. Oh, I mean, it wasn't supposed to go there, but still the same result. It's one run. P. Peter, six for one twelve. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. How has that almost? How has it not hit the stumps? Jeez, that would have capped off a lovely start to this episode, eh? Anyway, P. Peter, back at it. Runs are plenty. Just another 28 to go. That's out. That's plum. Fuck me. This is fucking putrid. Fucking tis, you fuck. Mate, are those glasses fucking blacked out or something? Like, can you even see what's going on? Jesus Christ. Let's just see how plum this was. I didn't uh, expect it to jag in as much. Did it even jag? It didn't do anything, did it? It just went straight on. Is that going over the top? Tez, I want to say you're stiff, but mate, you should be hitting those ones. Fuck. Jeez, that's, yeah, that's a shit decision. One for one all out. Not a great total, as we're going to be probably going to absolutely smash this. Although, can Tez pull something out the bag? I mean, he is good at uh, the economy in uh, limited overs. Just not wickets. What? Here we go. Get it. Yes, lad. Yep. Fuck off. That's a putrid shot. But effective and annoying. It will go for, it should go for three, maybe four. Actually, nah, surely that bloke's not going to run four. What's going on there? Oh, catch it. Oh, what the? I got like, caught in this pad. I'll go off for just for banters anyway, but that's weird. It was very weird. Oh, that shot. All the stumps on for show there, but uh, unfortunately didn't hit any. Last ball of the second over coming up. Oh, fuck right off of that shit shot, mate. We're out of the power play, thank goodness for that. But they are flying, kind of. They're doing what they need to do. Mate, we're out of the power play. Why don't you give us this change of field? No, because you're fucking shit. Oh, shit. No. Wasn't really paying attention. I don't... I always unpack this a bit just to show how fucking putrid this poor excuse of a game actually is. So he's hit it out to the deep there, that's fine. Let's just uh, run through that quickly. And he's thrown it back in. And what has old Tez done? That has gone straight through the legs, I believe. Yep, it's gone straight through the legs. Got on you, Tez, you fucking shit bird. And then uh, this guy's missed it. This guy's... Oh, yeah, I'll cut it off. No worries, lad. I'll get there. And then he just watches it. Why does this game exist? How's this game not been pulled from shelves yet? That's the real question here, because fuck me, it is fucking disgraceful. Disgraceful. It's 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 rattled me. I'm fucking rattled right now. They need 30 more runs. We need six more wickets. Highly unlikely, but you know, stranger things have happened. We haven't picked up a wicket yet though, so that's pretty annoying as Cooler World moves on to five of five. None for twenty. Not bad figures. We do need a one for though, at least. Bowling our last over, not for 25. You have to get a wicket. Don't think we will. 
and they are cruising so I mean just a whole lot of overs for nothing really just hurts the average of uh, around 17 come on sneaky oh it's he's teasing me old uh, Daniel and there we go lost by five wickets uh, didn't have a good one but uh, you get that with tears three of six pretty average and then none for 27 off 10 only bloke to bowl 10 overs we were mostly economical but unfortunately wasn't enough here we are welcome to this 2020 on Christmas Day surprisingly um, anyway, probably won't get a chance with the bat here, so it'll probably just be a bowling heavy uh, match. Oh, mate, goatee, how fucking delightful do you look, mate? Walking out to bat, we get one, we got one ball. Fuck, here we go. Well, we're going to get out. There's just no two ways about it. Come on, Tez. Wow, the one for 34 chasing 183. Wong is on strike. Launches first ball, because why the fuck not? And gets four. And it's gone again. Hmm, I need to fix that. Wong just loves launching down the ground. And once again, this will go for three. Last ball of the third over. Now for 20. Okay, we're getting pumped. So, come on, lads. Wickets, please. And shit, they won by seven wickets. Jesus, Wong, 100 not out. Uh, we faced one ball, no run. And uh, yeah, we had an absolute stinker. Three overs, none for 21. Although, who was that? Amos. None for 54 4. I don't understand why we didn't get a chance to bowl out or Ben because of these economies. What is going on? Anyway, that uh, stinker of a uh, episode there didn't go too well in anything. The form is still down. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this episode of The Big Man Tears. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling up to it. Leave a comment down below. Always appreciate reading those. But until then, take it easy.